Marcus Ray, I was uh, privileged enough to be with him in Ottawa, and he was on the front lines as well, and has been a tireless supporter of freedom. He's going to come up today and give you a message of hope. In Victoria, I told people, as freedom fighters, you are connected across Canada to 10 million people. I'm happy to say that my conversation last night with a gentleman who's connected across Canada with all the freedom groups actually corrected me and said we're closer to 11 million now. You've got a group of people, and it's not a small group of people, that are willing to stand for your rights and the rights of your kids. Yeah. Thank you. We've got a group of people that are willing to put everything on the line for that result. Everything. And you know what I mean by everything. Because we're at that point now. We're at that point where we have peacefully protested. Dave and I were in Ottawa. We were peaceful. As the bear spray was going over our heads, horses were running people down. They were rifle fighting veterans. We were still peaceful. But we walked away and we learned something, Dave and I, from that. We learned. We watched the way that they acted. We watched the way that they committed violence against Canadian citizens. And we knew that peaceful protests, one day, one day, were going to come to an end. And sooner or later, you've got to stand. And you've got to stand and not back up no matter what they said. Am I right? Something is happening and I'm going to give you hope right now because something is being built. And it's being built intelligently. It's being built with the right people. And it's going to happen. And when it happens, those people are putting themselves at risk. Huge, massive risk, but they're willing to do it. And what we need to back us up is you. So what is going to happen, people, is there's going to be a phone call when it happens. And when that happens, we need witnesses. And those witnesses are you. And we need you to show up. Will you show up? The most important thing for us is that you show up because we need witnesses to what will happen. We need witnesses. Okay, and this is what we learned when we were in Ottawa. You need to witness this for yourselves with your own eyes. Okay, not look at social media. I'm sure we had videos, we were showing you all kinds of stuff. But we need you to see. We need you to see what they act like. We need you to see what they will do to defend a lie. We're standing for truth and they're defending a lie. Now I have said right to there, I, I've got to say this first. There are good men and women in uniform, okay? I'm not putting them all down. Don't think that for a minute. I wore that uniform myself. There's good men and women there, okay? Don't paint them all with the same brush. But I've got to tell you, if you feel like me, you'll respect the men and women there, but you don't respect that uniform anymore. All right? When we look at that uniform now, what do we think right away? We don't think of telling our kids, if you get in trouble, speak to the police. No, I tell my kids to stay away from them. Because I don't know who they are anymore. I don't know what order they're willing to follow anymore. And that's that's confusing us. That's not the way our society works. All right? It's not the way it works. So I'll tell you right now that we are going to be doing something that is going to make the world look and go, wow. If you're, if you've made Canadian citizens do this, something's wrong. Because we are the nicest, most peaceful people in the world. We proved it in Ottawa. We stood there and took a beating. Didn't we, Dave? We took a beating. Dave and I watched, like, like women and old people and stuff, and not just a bunch of alpha males or females, but just regular people stand up and take a beating for Canada. That was the most courageous thing I have seen to date. I've never seen anything like that. And they didn't fight back, they didn't swing, they didn't do anything. And imagine the veterans that stood up. They've already protected our country and fought for freedom already. They paid their due already. And they stood up to do it again. Doesn't that tell you that someone's on the wrong side of this? And someone's on the right? It 
if you see veterans that have fought for freedom that you enjoy and your children enjoy and they're standing against something you know damn well to stand behind them you automatically know they're right there's no question no question which means those people on the other side of that line are wrong that's right so I'm telling you right now, I want you to be excited because a massive plan is at play. There is a lot of people involved in this and every large group that has thought we need to do something now is involved in it. Right. I leave at the end of the week to go up north. I start in Dawson Creek and work my way down and the groups are all waiting to get their orders. And we are forming a mass that they will not be able to push. It's time, it's time that we actually fight for our kids. It's time that we actually fight for Canada. And by fight, I mean we draw the line and we do not back up. All right, and you are such a critical component in what we're about to do. You have no idea. When the phone call goes up, come running. We need you so bad because we want you to see it. You're the witnesses. You're the ones that will spread the truth. We've got direct lines with Tucker Carlson and uh, the American media. We're bypassing all the Canadian media. And they... And they <laughs> I'm smart, right? <laughs> they are going to report the whole thing for us. We got Fox News going to cover it all. We got uh, Stinchfield, Stinch, Stinchfield from uh, Newsmax. These guys all want to cover it. And I'm lucky. I've got a cousin named Tim Ray, who is an investigative reporter in Atlanta. And they're putting me on Good Morning Atlanta. But I'm telling you right now, hope is there. You're flying these flags for a reason. All right? The people were linked in Alberta and Saskatchewan with are waiting for our move and they domino. I'll bet you everything that half to three quarters of our law enforcement is going to join us. I'll guarantee it. I'll guarantee it. Because, because they're Canadians too, people. They're following orders now because no one's made the drastic move that we're about to make, but they will not follow. I know they won't. I trust in them. I believe in them. And I still believe that they believe in to serve and protect. I do. I do. So I'm going to leave you with that. I'm going to say, when that phone call goes out and it starts ringing everywhere, that is a call to all Canadians that are ready, are ready to stop what the elites believe is inevitable. We're stopping it. Thank you very much.